But um, first I want to just go back to the title of today's lecture, which is The Culture War. So it's Introduction to AFAM, and it's meant to be a class um, that students take um, at the beginning of their training in African American studies. It is meant to really just be an overview of just the possibilities of the field. And formal politics. Right. Some, it's more thematic, um, but for me, I gave kind of a, a long overview, a historical overview of what we call the, although there's not one singular, but the African-American experience. So it begins in West Africa um, with the transatlantic slave trade, and it comes up into the contemporary moment. So Franklin won a landslide victory, and students get a lot from it, regardless of whether or not it's their major or minor. Um, what you get is an understanding of... of um, the very idea of Americanness, citizenship, global capitalism. Um, these are all things that uh, can't actually be discussed without a conversation on blackness and race. I think because it's an introduction course, Professor Johnson is kind of giving a panorama of the black experience. We're really seeing a burgeoning interest among young Americans in addressing systematic institutionalized inequality that we really, really have set in place in America. We begin to see younger generation using social tools such as Facebook and Twitter to really ha reclaim that voice that they weren't having again. And part of that reclamation of this younger generation's voice is enrolling in gender studies, ethnic studies, to talk about why inequality has persisted easily half a century after the Civil Rights Act was supposed to have solved it. I think that's important for students to have, and not just in a historical context, but to understand why one exists, the kind of power or not that one has. Um, how to be a thoughtful human, I think, is something that African-American studies can give everyone.